Hey everyone, today I have a quick Windows 11 tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to change your audio output in Windows 11. Maybe your audio is coming through your speakers and you want it to come through your headphones or maybe it's in your headphones and you want it to be in your speakers. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that today. That's very quick to do, but we're also gonna show you how to set your default audio output here in Windows 11. So whenever you turn your computer on, it's automatically set maybe to your headphones or your speaker. So it's really quite simple to do. So let's go ahead and dive right over to my Windows 11 desktop, get right into it. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop and it's really quite simple to change your audio output here in Windows 11. So maybe you're listening to music or watching a video and you don't want the audio to come through your speakers, but you'd rather have it come through your headphones or vice versa. Um, we're gonna show you how to change that right now and then we'll move into showing you how to set one of your audio devices as the default speakers. So um, first off to change your audio device or set your audio output, we wanna go down to the very bottom right hand corner and you should see a little icon that looks like a speaker. It's right next to the clock here for myself. And when I hover over that, it shows me what speakers I'm using. Um, if you're not seeing that there, you might have to click on the little arrow here and it should be in this area here. If you're not seeing it at the bottom, you can go ahead and left click on that little speaker icon and it's gonna bring up a little pop-up that looks something like this. And there's a audio slider for the volume here. But right next to that, there's a little arrow right here as well. And when I hover over that, it says manage audio devices. You can go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna give you a list of audio devices that you can select to be your speaker. So right now you can see my monitor is actually selected because my speakers are plugged into the audio jack on the back of my monitor. So that's why I would select that. I can select my Realtek digital audio, which is the audio jack on the back of my PC. I've got my headphone jack here, which is the audio jack on my microphone. And at the very bottom here is my headphones. So if I select this one, my audio would start coming through these headphones. So let's go ahead and select that. And that would flip it over to being able to listen in these ones. So it's really that simple to select your audio output here in Windows 11. But let's go ahead and move over to setting your default audio device here in Windows 11 as well. So to set your default audio output here in Windows 11, head on down to your start menu icon at the bottom. It looks like the Windows logo. And when you hover over it, it says start. Go ahead and left click on that. And we're looking for our settings here. So I happen to have my settings pinned here in the pin section. It says settings right there. The icon is a gear or sprocket. You can go ahead and left click on that. If you're not seeing that, just go to your all apps here and scroll all the way down to the letter S where you should see the settings um, app right here. So you can go ahead and left click on settings. That's gonna load up your system settings here in Windows 11. From there, make sure system is selected on the left hand side and you should see the option right here that says sound. You can go ahead and left click on sound and it's gonna load up your sound settings here in Windows 11. So the first thing here at the top is you're gonna see a whole bunch of different output settings that you can select for audio to play through. So it says output here, you can see my headphones, the Realtek digital audio, you can see my speakers here and you could go ahead and select one of these but we wanna go a little bit more advanced to set the default for which one we'd like to be our default. So what we're gonna do is actually scroll down to the bottom and under advanced, you should see the option that says more sound settings. When you go ahead and left click on more sound settings, a little window is gonna pop up that looks something like this. And you'll see it says playback, recording, sounds, communications. Make sure playback is selected and in here you'll see all the devices that you can select to be your default audio output devices. So if you scroll through here, you can see there's a green check mark right here next to my monitor audio jack. That's the one I'm using for my speakers. And it also says default device right here. So that is currently my default device, but we wanna change it to my headphones to make these my default audio device. So if we keep scrolling through here, at the very bottom for myself, I've got my headphones. Make sure your headphones are turned on and connected and go ahead and select whichever device you'd like. So I'm gonna select my headphones here and there's kind of a blue outline on the headphones. And right below that it says set default right here. I can go ahead and left click on that and watch what happens. That green check mark will pop down next to my headphones and turn those into my default audio device. So now my headphones 
are my audio device. Now I'm going to switch it right back. So again, I'm going to select the monitor audio jack and hit set default. The other cool thing you can do is set a default communication device. So maybe on a regular basis, you want your audio to come through your speakers, but then when you're in a voice or video call, you'd like it to come through your headphones. You can easily do that here as well. So right now my default is set to my speakers, but we want our default communication device to be my headphones. So scroll down to your headphones and select them. And right here where it says set default, you'll see a little arrow next to it. You can go ahead and left click on that and a couple options come up, default device. And right under that, it says default communication device. And when I go ahead and left click on this, watch what happens. A green circle with a little telephone icon shows up next to my headphones here. So um, you can easily set that as a default communication device and your regular speakers as your regular default device. And it's really that simple to set default audio outputs here in Windows 11 and change your regular audio output as well. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you set your audio outputs and defaults here in Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Remember to subscribe here on YouTube. Click that bell notification, it's totally free, and I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today, and until next time, take care.